infinity and beyond. What's going on, everybody? This is Ryan A. Polk with the wrap-up. Saw Toy Story 4 last night, and Toy Story is my personal favorite Disney franchise, and Pixar yet has done it again with another good-ass movie and also another good Toy Story. So this, so this takes up after the events of 3, and also, you know, with some of the shorts, I guess you could say, but mostly 3. Because, you know, from what we saw in 3, I thought that was going to be the last one. Because Andy went off to college, gave the toys to Bonnie, and then that was it. I mean, I thought it ended on a good note, but I'm happy that they made a fourth one because I was still impressed with this storyline. So, this this movie, you got Bonnie who is you got Bonnie who goes on this road trip with her family, and she takes this new toy, Forky, that she had made in class. And also on this adventure, you run into you run into Bo Peep. Well, well, Woody runs into Bo Peep. So you got you got old faces that we see, which is Bo Peep, and also new faces, such as you know Forky. You got Ducky and Bunny, voiced by K and Peel, who pretty much killed it on the comedy side. They were they were the funniest toys in this movie. Great job casting K and Peel. And you also got Duke Kaboom, voiced by the the iconic Keanu Reeves, who was all who also was was a good toy as well. I like that toy, and Keanu Reeves did a good job too as well. Good choice, and. And so in this movie, so this movie also, you know, it's pretty much like a, I don't really want to give much away, but like, I felt like this movie was pretty much a life lesson to, to Woody in a way. And, and, and with that, you know, Woody, you know, he, he, he learned some things from Bo while meeting her. And also in the movie, you find out what happened to Bo on why she, on, you know, why she was, why she was gone. Because when I saw three, I was wondering the same thing. Like, what happened to, to the toys? Like, Bo and Wheezy, RC, and, and then four pretty much explained that. At least for Bo, it explains it. And, 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 you know, this movie also, you know, it, it definitely, I think, because I remember when, I definitely do think that like it was it was emotional because I do remember in an interview where I saw Tim Allen, he was on a talk show, he was talking about how it was so emotional he couldn't even get through through the last part of the script. And I can kind of understand why, but to me it wasn't as emotional as how I thought it was going to be from when he explained it, but it was but like it was emotional and and it's and it's also kind of hard to say whether if it was more emotional than 3 or not. Which also brings me to to some to, to this as well as when you know even though I did enjoy it, it's still hard for me to say that whether or not if four is my least favorite or if I liked it better than three, because two two is still my favorite one, two then Toy Story one and then it's still up in the air with three or four right now, but still all but all four movies are good, and and I'm and like I said I mean I'm happy that they made this because. Because because the storyline of it was good too of of what they did, and and then you know with some of the new faces we got you got Forky of course, and then you got the new villain Gabby Gabby which was also another good Toy Story villain. That villain I thought was better than than Prospect Pete, and neck she's neck and neck with Lotso right now, but Gabby Gabby was a good villain and her sidekicks which are these vent ventriloquist dummies. And I swear on everything, they they literally look like Denver and Coach's dummies look like Slappy from Goosebumps almost. It was like for a moment I thought maybe what um Pixar might have might I don't know maybe worked out a deal with Arl Stein or something and those might be them dummies might be Slappy low key. But um the villain you know the villains Gabby Gabby and her sidekicks those were those were good villains and and it was st and then while watching this movie. There, there was something of a little bit tad bit dark when it came to Gabby Gabby, but she kind of like tells Woody, you know, what it is, and and that's when I was like, oh okay, yeah, because I mean I'm pretty sure it was gonna they was probably gonna say something sooner or later, and and it also you know when and what maybe even also even see this more because was was not only because it was Toy Story but also because I wanted to find out what did happen to Bo Peep because when I saw her in the preview and stuff I'm like. 
what the dude why does she look so different i mean dude whoever whoever this was that had that that had got bo peep you know man what was well i mean they had i mean how was they able to like change her clothes and everything because she looked completely different she looked like she was a street was this was this um person who took bo peep a street fighter fan or something like that because damn they i mean how was they able to even do that with bo peep she looks completely different than what she did from one and two and and uh and then all and then toy story it was also like during this you know while while watching this movie you know i laughed you know i i laughed i wasn't bored at all now i will say with i mean because i don't want to spoil it you know that's not what i do you know but when it came to you know old faces such as rex rex ham slinky and um and even bonnie's new toys and well not Bonnie's new toys but like like the toys that you know she already has when that she already has i felt like you know those toys could have been done more because even when i saw because when i saw the poster and when i saw the trailer i'm thinking i was thinking like okay you know things are going to be different things are going to be different with some of the with some of the old faces with some of the, with some of the toys and that and then that was probably the only thing i had to say that like i didn't that like i didn't really really like about it but i but it was still enjoyable and i'm and i was still happy to see the old toys in that movie because you know at least bonnie didn't give them away you know because 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 bonnie you know she she goes to kindergarten in this movie and that's where she also makes forky and at least she's still you know well and at least you know she's still they still you know kept all the toys around uh, in this movie so you know with that being said, you know, concluding, you know, should you go see it or should you not go see it? Hell yes, go see it. Because, you know, especially if you're a Toy Story fan, you know, millennials such as myself, you know, who also who also like Disney, you know, you're going to enjoy this movie. And any of you, I mean, if you don't have kids, you know, still, I mean, still go see this. Yes, because, you know, because, you know, yes, it is. It is very enjoyable. And. Um, and if you do have kids, definitely take your kids to go see it because they will enjoy it. And then, and then also, you know, they will also, I think that like, you know, they will also, you know, find it funny and, and also entertaining. Well, everybody will find it funny and entertaining. I mean, I mean, because, you know, it, Toy Story is, is a classic, you know, I mean, who, I mean, if you're a Pixar fan too, as well, I mean, you gotta like Toy Story. And, and when they make a Toy Story 5, because judging by the way this ended, a fifth one, you know, could be possibly made. Fifth one could be made, honestly. And when the fifth one does come out, I best believe I will be seeing it, no matter how old I am. So, yes, go see it ASAP. It's not a waste of your money. For Toy Story, for Toy Story's grade, I give Toy Story for a a a, a minus. And four four out of five stars, I give Toy Story for four out of five stars actually i'll give it four out of five stars it will well watch well, well, you know what i'll give it i'll give it three and a half three out of half three and a half out of five stars actually and be be only because of how of some of the stuff that i had that i had least expected i mean well that i had least liked about it and because of my debate on whether of it of it being better than three or if it's my least favorite so this is ryan a polk with the wrap-up signing off